I will retire with the ring, and I will retire with the crown. Yes, no, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. Yes. Hey, everybody. Do I even have to introduce myself? Like, everybody already knows Mary Celeste from Instagram. If you don't know, go tell your friend, go tell your neighbor, go tell your tias to watch my videos. Tell all the senoras on your block to watch my videos. So today, um, just to get, you know, like a little introduction to my channel, I'm gonna do a question and answer video. I asked you guys, um, to ask me questions on my Instagram and my Snapchat, and these are what you guys asked me. So let's go to it so that you can get to know me. <laughs> little old me. Vanessa asked, do you have a boyfriend? Do I have a boyfriend? Girl, I got like four. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I do not. I don't have a boyfriend. Okay, Larisse asked, what do you aspire to be? You know, that's a hard question. I feel like I've always had this mentality of who I'm gonna be, but you know, like, God is over here changing things for me, like, no, Mary, you're not gonna do this, you're gonna do that. So, I don't know. I aspire to be happy in life, like, ultimately happy. Like, I just, I aspire to have success in life. That's what I aspire to be. She also asked, what are your hobbies? sleeping eating being with my babies zoe chloe isaiah liam my four little babies that you guys always see on my instagram and my snapchat i just love hanging out with them how old are you i'm 45 i'm just kidding i'm 20 years old i am 20 i know a lot of people um think that i'm older or probably younger because i act like a little kid but i'm 20 years old my deal Leandro asked, who is your favorite uncle and why? If you guys know me, you know that I have like a hundred uncles. So, I can't say, but Theo Leandro, you are not my favorite. I'm just kidding. I love them all. They're great. But my Theo Leandro, when I was little, he used to take me to the lake and take me skiing and camping. So, shout out to you. You're one of the favorites, but I don't have a favorite. My cousin Alex said, why are you so funny? I honestly ask myself this all the time. I, I really think I'm hilarious. I always say things that people are thinking in their head, but they're too afraid to say. Like, I'm usually that person that'll say it. She said, what are your pet peeves? I know I have like a thousand million of them, but I can't really think of people eat and it's annoying like when they slurp or when they munch on their food. I just want to be like, close your mouth. Close your mouth. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. What is your favorite Bible verse and why? So my favorite Bible verse is Jeremiah 29 11, and it says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. That's my favorite Bible verse because ultimately, like, I know what God thinks of me. Like, it doesn't matter what mentality other people have of me or what other people want to judge me or perceive me by, like, God thinks of me greatly. Yeah. Somebody asked who's my best friend. <laughs> my God, she's right here. Tell them hi. Cheese. Okay. Alex also asked... Am I your favorite cousin? Again, you guys, like, I have too many cousins, I can't choose. But I do love her. This summer, we lived together for, like, two and a half months, and we did the youth summer program, and I didn't even like her before, but now I, I do kind of a little bit. <laughs> Alex Medina said, do you love me? So Alex Medina is was my best friend my senior year of high school, and this little brat, halfway through senior year, moved to Colorado, and... I didn't have no more friends. I'm just kidding. Alex. Alex, of course I love you. Michelle said, why are you so sexy? Girl, I don't know why. Like, I'm cute, but I just don't know why. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Andrea said, what do you order at La Michoacana? I get um, everything that's on the menu all the time. It just depends what I'm in the mood for. Like, I'll get um, a Bionico sometimes if I want, like, something sweet. And if I want something salty, I'll get like tosti locos or um, a mangoniada or a chamango or hot Cheetos with cheese. But no joke, you guys, when I eat hot Cheetos and cheese, I'm like, like nine months pregnant. Like, it's crazy. My little sister asked, who's your favorite sister? Um, definitely not you. <laughs> I asked her to help me clean my room earlier and she didn't. So today you're not my favorite sister, Leanne. My cousin Leilani said... <laughs> 
She said, why are you so loud? I don't know. Like, I talk, and my dad's like, why are you yelling? And I'm like, I'm not yelling. Like, I'm talking. Like, I talk loud. And I yell a lot. So, I don't know why I'm loud, Lalani. And she also said, why am I ugly? I just am. My tia Maricela. <laughs> she said, how is it when you hear all the voices in your head? Can it get too much, or are you just used to it? There's no voices in my head. And somebody said, what music do you like? I like everything except for country like miss me with that honka donka cowboy give me that hat none of that i love oldies i love hip-hop i love everything spanish music i love rmb i love christian music just about everything somebody said what's your sign i am an aries and i don't really believe in that stuff but it's weird how it's kind of true like, watch i'm an aries and let me read to you guys the definition here we go their upbeat and magnetic personality often entices others to follow their lead because aries personalities bring excitement into others lives and i guess like it is really broad like it could fit into anybody but i'm loud like i'm exciting and people follow my lead i'm a leader okay do you struggle with anxiety um i don't struggle with anxiety i think that everybody has anxiety to a certain level i think people just handle it differently the other night i had fake nails and i was having a serious conversation and i bit them all off and every time i have serious conversations and like i'm in this certain situation like i bite off all my nails and i took this test and the test told me that i had severe anxiety i don't think i have severe severe anxiety but it's definitely there you know but i'm pretty chill for the most part like i've never had an anxiety attack or nothing like that what is your type in a guy <sighs> Girl, what isn't my type? I'm just kidding. I'm so picky. Probably like the pickiest person. Definitely taller than me. Like you think I'm gonna be walking around with like a little boy like, oh hey, this is my, like, what are you, my little cousin? No, be a man. A funny, like a funniness and jokes is the way to my little baby heart. Like I love it when people are funny. Looks are not everything, but looks matter. I don't care what people say, looks matter. Do you want ugly kids? You don't. So then why would you get an ugly spouse that's gonna make you ugly kids? <laughs> I mean, I'm not ugly, but... Okay, definitely somebody that's not ugly. Duh. Um, usually I stick with my own kind. Asians are kind of cute. This isn't racist or nothing. I've never liked a white boy. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Um, I've never liked a black guy either. I know a lot of people always say that they can see me with a black guy, which I don't get, but we'll see. Ask me again in five years. What makes you mad about people? Good question. Everything <laughs> is when people are very judgmental. And let's say that we have different hobbies, you know? Like we always spend our time differently or we're into different things. And because you don't like the same things they do, they're like, oh my gosh, like that's so dumb. Like why do you waste your time with that? Or like, I love watching makeup tutorials. Like, or I love watching Grey's Anatomy on Netflix. Or I love taking naps and people are tell me things about it. Like I don't tell you how to spend your free time so don't tell me what i hate about people is judgmentalists like leave me alone you know like don't make me feel dumb for the way that i am what talent do you have many talents oh my gosh one good talent that i have is look at i can <gasps> i have feet hands like <laughs> I can pick stuff up with my feet. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know, like, I'm pretty talented. <laughs> Are you usually late or early to things? Late. I'm late to everything. I just don't know how to be early to stuff. I'm terrible at time management. What pets did you have growing up? We had two dogs, Bruce and Kobe. Oh, they were so cute. They were so cute. And then, this is really sad. I don't think, like, I've healed from it mentally. I had a hamster and his name was Scarface. Scarface would get out of his little cage and I would lose him for like two or three days And then at the middle of the night I would hear his little wheel going and going and then I would like wake up close the gate and then I'd lock him in there I don't even know how he would get out. He was my best friend like I loved him and one day like because he would always get lost He stopped coming back. I was like what happened to my hamster? My dad did something to him he either opened the front door and we used to live in front of a main street so i think he opened the door and just let him go or they fed him to the dogs one of those but my dad killed my hamster what do people usually think of you when they first meet you people always like 
90% of the time just think that I'm like the meanest person ever and that's because I am <laughs> No, I'm not mean but a lot of people are like when I first met you I thought you were gonna be so mean like hard to talk to what people usually think when they first meet me is that I mean that I'm stuck up and I don't think I am those things But maybe that's just me talking about me. I don't know. How tall are you? I am pretty sure I'm 5'8 What annoys you most about the in groups you're a part of? I don't want to get fired. Well, I'm in like this group. I guess you can say I get annoyed that I feel like I can't be myself around people and like I'm Usually always loud like the life of the party like always making jokes Like I'm never really serious and I hate it when I'm in those groups and I'm being myself and like people are just looking at me You know thinking what they think I think that that's what annoys me is when I feel like I can't be myself if you meet me when I'm with my family like that's that's the real Mary Celeste. Um, what would the people in high school say about you? They would say I was loud. Who were your group of friends in high school? I was with the Bisas. I was with everybody. I'll hop around with everybody. But my main clique was the little Bisas. You know, with our skinny jeans, our black vans, black tank top. We wouldn't even carry a backpack. We just had a folder. <laughs> Who is one of your favorite people? Um, one of my favorite people, I think that would be my cousin David. You guys, he's like Jesus. He is so patient. When I was 16, I did a youth summer program and he was like one of the main leaders there. I got so close with him. I remember I would cry to him. I'll be like, adopt me. He is always there for me. Like he's never been judgmental. Like he prays for me all the time. He is such a godly person and I really aspire to be like that one day. I just really think he is freaking amazing. I love him. Somebody said, what is your favorite color? Let me just tell you, I do not have a favorite color. Like, I cannot make decisions. It's so hard for me to pick something, and I can't pick a favorite color. My room is red and black and a little bit of dark gray. Like, I don't like bright colors. I like darker colors, but I don't have a favorite color. Desiree asked, do you love me? Girl, why are you asking those type of questions? Of course I love you. And this is the last question. It is, when did you start wearing makeup? So when did I start wearing it or when was I allowed to? <laughs> I was in seventh grade. I'm pretty sure I was in seventh grade. So when I was in seventh grade, I would go to the bathroom when I would get to school. I'll put on my little mascara, put on my blush, do my thing. When I would ride the bus home, I would be in the mirror like <laughs> taking it all off because my dad did not allow me to wear makeup. Like he would beat me. <laughs> I would get home and he'll be like, why are you wearing makeup? And I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, what the heck? Okay, you're weird. And I'll get spanked and he's like, your tears are black. What do you mean you're not wearing makeup? I'm like, I don't know why they're black. Like I wasn't even a good liar. But when I was allowed to wear makeup, up, I think I was like 13 or 14 and I remember I wanted a bearded dragon for Christmas like I just loved lizards and my dad said okay Mary for Christmas either you can get your little lizard you could get its cage and its food or your mom can take you to the mall and you can get makeup and I was like I'm a grown woman now I don't want no dragon I don't want no lizard give me my makeup so I remember we went to the whatever makeup counter and I bought my first makeup and that was when I was like 13 or 14 all I would wear was like blush powder and mascara and then slowly I just started wearing more and more and more so that's it okay you guys well that's all the questions and thank you guys who did send me questions there's like 200 people that saw my post and you guys didn't send me any but thank you to you guys who did send me questions and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got to know a little more about me. I plan to upload more videos on my channel so I hope you guys enjoy it and thank you for watching.